Yo, what is going on guys? Moo got a nice little buff, making his win rate go up, making his pick rate go up. And when you actually look at his win rate, he does very well iron through gold. After gold, not so much, but if you are gold, gold or iron or anything in between, you should consider picking him up. You can solo start on wraps or solo start on wolves with your E. If you're gonna get a leash, you normally go W, like I'm gonna do here. So now my team is AFK, so this leash might be a little bit weak. Amumu, you can full clear into Scuttle, you'll be a little bit late, or you can 5 camp clear into it and be there on time. You can go Red Smite or Blue Smite. If you have trouble landing your Qs, I would go Blue Smite, otherwise Red Smite's better. Yeah, too cool to leash, I see you. Uh, yeah, we might just do a 5 camp clear. I don't really feel like full camp clearing with a leash that bad. Just go ahead and take these. Lucian laid up ward over the wall pretty early that's the new meta i'm gonna break it just to spook him out that's gonna slow down our clear a little bit not a huge deal we're gonna take wolves gonna do blue gromp you could do blue blue gromp then wolves because you'd get level three off of taking gromp next but taking wolves isn't gonna give us level three right now for our runes, we just decided to go for the tankier Scrappy Amu since they have Trindamir. If they have champions, you can actually kill with AP. You can go like AP Everfrost or Rocket Belt. But when you look at their team, I can't really do anything to the Trindamir or to the Echo. They have tools to survive my burst and to really waste my kit. I'm going to go ahead and kill the Gromp first. You don't have to take them at the same time like this. I would actually recommend that you don't because need to practice it you have two charges of your Q that's the main buff and you gotta wait in between them so a lot of times you'll use your Q to get to them or if you can use it to land on them in the first place that's good too so this was just a oop, 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 oop. oh he flash got him and this is why I went Conqueror, guys. Conqueror was way more useful in that fight. Darius has double buffs. I have more CS than the Echo. We're going to go ahead and grab this. Having the double Q is really, really nice. So now you have two seconds of stun pre-6 instead of one second of stun. It makes a huge difference. We'll try to get a scuttle now. Yeah, the recharge time doesn't get that much better per level. You don't have to max your Q first. I would still... I think I'd still prefer going Emax first for the better clears. Because it's not even the cooldown between them. So now we can take off the shield with a Q and still have a Q left to fight people. I'm assuming Echo's gonna rush down the other one. I think his golems are up, so I'm gonna preemptively invade him. I'm gonna use my sweeper. There's no wards here. I don't think they know I'm here. Uh, yeah, and his golems are still up. They're level one, as you can see right there. He hasn't taken them yet. You don't really need to use your Q to help you farm. The only time I would really use it is if you're going to back anyways or if you're in a really safe spot. In this case, I'd like to have it as an escape tool so I could jump to a minion or Trindamir. I need them to shove. We are autoing him, we QE. I'm gonna turn off my W and just use my E on these minions. And they're just chilling down there. I can't really get to them. That's fine. We have a huge CS lead on the Echo. I'm gonna go gank mid. Oh no. Nice. Okay, yeah, they're not going to do anything. Echoes just doesn't have the resources. Hopefully Darius doesn't die here. Yeah, I, I wasted a lot of time doing that. <laughs> a lot of time walking back and forth. You want to try to avoid those situations so you can hit level 6. It's just really uh, tempting. Dilution swung it for them.
There's a cannon. I'm not going to touch it. The Darius is going to freak out if I do. If there wasn't a cannon, I would go grab it, but he might actually get a minion or two. I don't want to tilt him, especially when all my camps are up anyways. Solution's doing some work. He doesn't have boots yet. Should be able to land a Q on him. I can even fake him out or miss the first one and then land the second. Well, this is the main way you use your Qs, is just to get to your camp faster. I'm laying it there because he warded my raptors last time, so I wanted to know if he knew I was here. If I warded the bush, I wouldn't be, quite be able to see. Looks like he's backing off right about now. Oh, scuttles down. I think he's on his blue buff right now. Might be able to outsmite him. I wouldn't generally recommend invading like this. I'm only doing it because I'm ahead. Oop. Did I get that? Or did he get that? Yeah, I gotta leave. His bot lane's rotating. I'm not sure who got that. I think he did. I'm still not level six. I'll just go grab my red buff. We have two KP out of two right now. Not too shabby. Since Echo's bot side, he might gank my bot. It's looking juicy. The fact that it's frozen up here, he probably will. If it wasn't so juicy, he would just move on to his red side. Lucian, no HP items, no boots, no magic resist. We could do something there. Darius is starting to fold a bit. I'll go mid. Second and a half stun plus two seconds. Three and a half seconds of CC. Oh, wow, I missed. Hit him with the R. Now that he's still, now we hit him with Q. That's the nice thing about having the double charge is if you do miss your first Q like a noob like me, you have the second one. Ideally, you do want to R first in these one-on-one -on -one situations. That way, you can land your Q for free, just like I did there. After I R'd him, there's really no way to miss it. I'm just gonna flash it. He's chasing. I need some help. Okay, he's not chasing anymore. I'm gonna back and get played still caps. Our team is very AD heavy. I already have tenacity in my runes as well, so. If you are gonna be playing a Mumu more AP heavy, fine for you to go for lucidity rush that's fine uh spark shoes wouldn't be bad either but if you're going to be playing in tankier conqueror would recommend stacking some hp once you are level two enough you can take blue and gromp at the same time that's why it's kind of nice to be able to start on red side on a moon like you saw me do this game i started red side and then i took blue gromp same time we're gonna queue over to get to it faster you also need to remember to queue over your the camp walls. Whenever you're gonna die, you're getting chased. It's a really good escape tool. People don't expect it. Just remember where the monsters are in the camps. You can get away. And you, if your smite's up, you can even smite the monster to get a bunch of health back if they have united or something. I don't really need that plant. I'm gonna run through. Getting Sunfire Aegis next after that, we could get more tank items or a little bit of AP. That's why you see I got a Dark Seal because I'm doing pretty well. That uh, Dark Seal is going to give decent value. All right, it's up. If that camp wasn't up, my Q wouldn't have hit anything, but since it's up, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Ooh, why are you here? His lethal tempo just proc, so I'm not that interested. Ooh, Darius, I really need you to push the wave. Trying to dodge out the Echo Stun. I'll go ahead and R. I'm gonna red my auto. And we pick up the kill. Very nice. I'm glad I didn't go AP Amumu. The whole point of AP Amumu is one shot bursting them. Against things like Trin and Echo, you can't really. Echo can get Hourglass, Trin has his R. No, Darius. We 
I go ahead and red smite him. He goes to auto me. I hit him with my Q. He's gonna R. Yep, juked it. I think Trin might get me though. He missed his Q, that's hilarious. He missed his Q, he still won though. I was too low on health. Oh man, close. Getting really close to our Sunfire Ages. Spotlight struggling greatly. I don't think we're in too bad of a spot. I think the toughest thing about this game is going to be the Fed Ezreal. Ezreal and Lucian both have tools to dodge my Q to where a lot of times you have to be patient to where they start an auto attack or you just R them first by walking into them. Then you Q since obviously they're stunned and they can't juke or dash or flash or whatever. I'll try to path into Dragon. Derry should be fine under turret. Trend no R. I'll grab Wolves and go straight for it. This is what I'm talking about. Just Q over. A lot like a Zacking in that aspect. Wolves and Raptors are your best friends on Amumu. You take them really fast with your Emax. I'm actually down to max my Q second. I'm totally okay with that. If the enemy team is very tanky, I think W max second would be better. They're not tanky at all though, so <laughs> my W doing a tiny bit of max health damage isn't going to give me much value. Right, Lucian's kind of low. I'll walk into him. I'll wait for him to use his dash, ideally. Oh, he has that item. That sucks. Dang. I have Q again. Auto attack E. Red smite auto. I'll just go ahead and R. My R came up right there towards the end. My e, he was at, slightly outside of my E range. While he was Ring me, my W was chewing him up, so he's taking a lot of damage. Pretty solid. I would like to gank bot with my R to get the double stun off. Just haven't had a real chance to go down there yet, do anything meaningful. I think Lucian R counts as like auto attacks. So Mumu's E. You take reduced damage to where each Lucian R counts as like an individual attack. So like, let's say each Lucian R bolt does 20 damage. My E's making me take like 13 reduced damage from each one. That's a move who kind of counters Lucian R in that aspect. It's like if you've ever had Banshees and Lucian R's you, he scrapes your Banshees off instantly with one bullet of his R and then just mows you down. Uh, Mumu used to be my second most favorite champion back in the day. My favorite champs at the moment are probably like Poppy and Nunu. Red Smite Auto. We're going to run past him to get away from the stun. We're going to Kizura. This is why Conqueror is really nice. You can take up a lot of space, stay in prolonged fights, and get a bunch of extra damage and healing. Just like that. Blue buffs up in 20 seconds. I think I'll reset, then I'll go grab it. Trindamir's not going to have a chance of stealing it because he's underneath his turret at the moment. Luxmas Prime, welcome to the stream. Oh, actually, I might be able to repeat gank. Nah, Echo's there. Oh, wait, so my screen just, like, lied. It said Echo was there, but he wasn't. He was on the other side of the map. I'll go ahead and get Bramble. I think I lose my Raptors. I don't really, I think Echo might even die bot. If he's good, he'll die bot because he was just on my rap, so he might even drag him. I gotta go mid, Solution's tearing stuff up. Ooh, just laid Herald. I'll be taking that. He has no wards. Deathwish96. Welcome to the stream, Deathwish. Thank you for the prime. Oh, he's on his red. I don't have smite, though. Double R. Finish off the Amumu. Wish I had my other Q charge up. 
Man, the Q finishing him off with E. Lucian's here, he can't do anything. I'm actually really tanky. I'm liking Amumu, man. This new Amumu with the double Qs feels very agile comparatively <laughs> to the old Amumu. Feels nice. I could dive him under turret if I land Q. They, his bot lane's probably going to collapse on me for this. Uh, it doesn't seem to actually be up. If we could get Dragon, that'd be really nice. I don't know if we can, though. My bot lane doesn't have much uh, going on. Ezreal has 50 CS up on Ash. Holy moly. Earth Dragons, when your team's tanky, does gives a lot of value. Got a couple of wards. I'll go get my blue and grump now. Hop right over. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He took my wraps. They're still not spawned in yet. Jeez. Sticking them forever. Ash is going to help herself to my golems to make up for her 50 CS deficit. Only way we're going to win a team fight is if we hit a gnarly 5 man R. And then Valkos can follow up with his. I wouldn't recommend using both charges of your Qs on camps unless you're about to recall. If you do that, you won't have them ready for your gank. He's up two levels. Oh, now he's up one. Hezreal's bot side. Aw, oh, he knows. Oh, I still added a Zar. I didn't know that. Nice. Thought Trindamere R was still on cooldown. Might be able to get Harold out of it. Zerath no R. Right over the pit. Pull it back a little bit. I don't want anyone jumping in too quick. Oh, missed. Wow. Harold's got uh, some jukes. Once you land one stun, you're gonna land the others. So if you land a raw Q, that's nice. Or if you land a R into QQ, that's also nice. In my jungle, it's really aggressive for him to go up that far. Ooh, Velkos just burned his flash. I'm gonna flash with him. I probably could have just queued him again. That would have been the move. I didn't realize Karma was actually gonna land snare. Oh, I queued right as he stunned me, but I missed my Q. He flashed. Nice. My Herald's gonna do some work over there too. I really wish I got that Zerath, man. I would time my Q. Like, if they're CCing you as you Q, your Q will go through. Unless it's a displacement. I threw out my Q right as the stun was about to land, so I would have outplayed him. I just missed it. I'm back to full health. Wow. That's awesome. I really like Conqueror Moon. It feels stable. Let's smile. Oh, ooh, got it. Now we just walk out. Oh, Darius. Woo wee. Let's grab some raptors. He actually just did that. Jeez. Guess he felt he's doing. He's gonna carry this team, so he needs to take the raptors from me. I'm full health. I should stay. Going for that Q max second. Belkaz, why are you autoing it? You're giving it away. <laughs> he started autoing it from the bush. 
Ezreal might even ult this if he really wants it. Dragon's up. Draxol win con play for Dragon. Second item, I'm actually ready for Demonic Embrace. If you're not that bad, you should definitely get Thornmel or Randu in second. Lucian's auto base, so is Ezreal and Trin, so Thornmel second item would be beautiful. Trin's crit, so is Lucian, so Randu and second item here would be beautiful, but I'm so fed and I already have Bramble to where I'm, I'm tanky enough and I'm giving heal cut with my bramble to where I think I can get away with demonic. Demonic's generally best when they are tanky though, with that being said. Loud is my ease ending. I hit him with the Oh Yeah, I died. Feels bad. I just gave 700 gold on that death. I was tanking so much damage. I took like all magic damage. I might need to get some MR. The Echo and uh, Zerath and even Ezreal. Ezreal did over 200 magic damage to me there. Fun champ. Something that does kind of suck is they nerfed Amumu's R when they buffed his Q. When they buffed his Q. It used to get up to, I think two seconds. But now it's just a second and a half at all levels of stunnage. You do still have your, your since you have two charges of this though, it's, it's, it's yeah, I think you have slightly more CC technically cause that's two seconds of stun plus second and a half, it's three and a half seconds of CC. Even if it's not a knockup or suppression, three and a half seconds of stun ain't bad. Nice, gotta pick on the echo. I need this blue buff. I run Oom a lot. I'm gonna smite it if I have to. A lot of the times when you're playing tank junglers in particular, you give blues away to your mages. Mumu is very mana heavy, especially if you're ahead. You're constantly staying on the map. All right, let's get back out there. R is up here in a second. We did go for Ravnus Hunter over Ultimate Hunter, so R is on a slightly longer cooldown. Just go ahead and smite that. I want to go kill Lucian before he disappears. I think I'm okay. I thought I was on him where he started to run away, but he's still here. Huh. He's juking a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that was rough. That was really rough. I needed to slow down on my cues. I'm getting flashes like crazy. Hold him still, chew him down. If I would slow down on my cues a little, little bit, at least we got some flashes. Yeah, but that Gale Force, it's gonna make it really hard for me to land cues on Lucian. He can save it until I Q, plus he has his dash. So realistically, I shouldn't land to any Q on him until I land my stun. He has two dashes to dodge both of my Qs with. It's basically on him to mess up for me to land a Q, unless once again I can get on him with R. It's scary to start your R animation, because if he flashes right as you R, he'll just miss it. I know I'm in the area, I gotta be careful. Trin has a... Uh, true damage on his item on Kraken. You know, I've got a bunch of armor. You can slice through that. Ash can't match him. She really shouldn't be bought right now. He could just kill her solo and live with pretty much full HP. That's why I'm mirroring it right now. Just in case. She should definitely back off though. I'm sitting on a lot of gold. I don't want to sell my Dark Silks. I can't afford Abyssal anyways. I'll, I'm getting Abyssal next because I'm taking so much magic damage. They have AP. They have two AP plus a little bit of Ezreal AP damage. Oof. Felka's going up a little bit too far. Darius in a bit of a weird spot. Let's try to get there. The 
R, and then we get the kill. I'm gonna wait for that stun to end, and then I'll stun him. As you really shouldn't have set back up, bud. You're missing your cues. Stun him under turret, rest my auto, get the kill. Whenever you stun them with your Q, you normally have time to auto E then R. And if it, like Lucian has zero tenacity, so when I hit him with Q, I autoed an E then I R'd, and he, he never got got a chance to play the game. Echo's not in a good spot here. Ash just needs to hit him with that. I think she landed it too. Mm, missed it. He went the other way. Oh, he's got a blast cone. That's unfortunate. Got him. I would have had him. It's fine though. I don't care if Karma gets the gold. I really want to take this red buff. I probably should have. I needed the healing. My R is coming up. A little low on mana. I need to get back in the jungle. Now I have 12 mana regen per second. Yeah, they're just laying stuff to hit me. They don't like me, dude. <laughs> the enemy team's beating me up. Oh, hey there, guys. Hey there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> that was awesome, man. This champ's so much fun. If you guys are anywhere from iron to plat, you should definitely pick up, pick this guy up. After that elo, people will abuse your early game, like your first kind of three levels, and they'll have a hard time, a harder time. I want that blue buff. A lot of times Trin will take your camps on his way out. Is he taking my, yeah, he's taking my stuff right now. What a rat. I need this blue. I run out of mana so easily, especially if we're not in the jungle. You can always go tank a Mumu regardless if your team is tanky. It works pretty well, but you, you do still have the option of going AP on him with like Electrocutor Dark Harvest with Everfrost. Playing him tank is much easier though, because even if you miss a skill shot or if you're slightly out of position, you're probably not going to instantly die. AP and Mumu is a lot less forgiving. I would just consider AP and Mumu like advanced or more advanced. Dar I wish Darius would match the Tran. He's so much farther ahead of him. Oh, I missed my stun. I did, I, like if he didn't have flash, I would have landed it. So I, since I didn't know if his flash was up, I actually needed to throw out my Q before my stun ended. I saved it till like right as it ended. So he just pinched flash. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab a mesh for the 10% movement speed that it gives. Uh, Lucian might still be bought. All right, I gotta go help Ash. He's about to get railroaded really hard. She needs to kite a little bit better than that. I missed my Q too. That's tragic. Dang. I think we're still in the driver's seat though. Trin's gonna be an issue for sure. I can feel it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this red buff. I'll save my second. I'll save my Q charge to get to my golems.
Necro's gonna have trouble. He doesn't have the items to carry this. He also didn't go Gathering Storm or Absolute Focus. If you go free boots on Echo instead of Sorcery, your late game isn't that great. Auto attack E. Auto attack. I'll just save my Q. Good job, Ash. I didn't need her R. I don't mind having it though. If you're in range to hit him with autos and W, if you can, hold on to your Q if they're juking. Because if you throw it out while they're juking, it's really easy to miss. So like there, you just saw me hold on to it. Auto attack R. He's dead. And now we have a bunch of mesh stacks too. I'm trying to keep moving while I'm fighting him so he can't land his stun on me. Because if you stand still while you're fighting Echo, it's really easy for him to land a stun. Got him. Good stuff. I'm running kind of low on mana though. I need to heal it back up. This red buff is giving me some 58 HP per second. Now that I'm in the jungle, I'm getting 19 mana per second. I'm healing all the way back up as if I'm on fountain. Red buff and my absorbed jungle item. I'm technically in jungle. And now I'm technically not. So I just stand technically in it. Get my mana back. Just like this. Now I go in. Oh, he... <laughs> oh, he got... <laughs> You got kind of lucky on that one. Whoa. All right, Darius might be more balanced than Amumu, dude. That was kind of sick. His R's were one-shotting people. They definitely don't have the comp to shred me. They would have needed one of their carries to be absurdly fed to kill a tanky Amumu. We don't have the minion close enough to the turret. If you guys enjoyed this Sumo Jungle Guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to come chat and chill live on stream. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.